Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Breath of the Righteous. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, you might notice that I'm at the loading screen. Well, that is because when I try to load in, something happens. I don't know why it happens now, but it happens. As soon as it loads. Because I had taken a break and all that fun stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go back and remake Errant one last time, hopefully, and then, um... Soon as it loads. Soon as it loads. There it is. Day six. Month in Neth. Which is 11th. Year 4715. The commander becomes host to an anomalous force, and his dreams are filled with strange visions. He feels the space around him distort, and his sensory organs are filled by false images, bred by distortions of light and air. Reality itself tries to expel the commander into some dark tunnel. At the other end, a grim figure awaits. His body resists this crude attempt to wrench it from to wrench it from reality, but the unknown force tries to finds a tangle in the commander's soul and won't pull out the demonic rage and destructive desire. One made of destructive rage or desire. The stranger grabs at it and pulls, like a hunter reeling in a harpoon. Troubled by the sudden intrusion, the dark and ominous force d deep in the commander's soul answers with a menacing growl. The commander stares intently. Holy shit. Like, just succeeded on that. The darkness conceals a, the, crim, the stranger's appearance, but something can be glimpsed. A massive set of bull's horns crowned, crowning a head. The tips glinting malevolently. Baphomet? No. Hmm. Bull's horns. Baphomet is goat horns, right? That's what I'm kind of assuming based on this symbol over here, too. Try to understand what's going on? Shit, I'm gonna roll. Wait, difficulty class. Ten? I thought it said... You know what? I ain't gonna complain. I am a little bit confused because I do not have a plus 21. He needs a moment to figure this out. The commander is being summoned, transported through space by some magic of force. However, the attempt did not succeed because the commander is not a spirit or demon, but a mortal asimer. The commander is surprised that this spell worked on him at all. He gained 19 XP. Hmm. Nah, definitely not number three. Gonna suppress it. Uses every effort to suppress the tangle of rage in his soul, which the mysterious power has latched onto. By force of will, the commander pushes his anger down, as deep in his soul as he can. The attraction rapidly weakens in response, as if the mysterious enemy can no longer sense the commander and concentrate its efforts on him. The apparition recedes, leaving the commander wondering whether it was reality or nightmare. Well, at least we got a little bit of experience from that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna take a long while to level up. But anyways, I I wanted to do one whole thing when it comes to Aerith the Cold Hearted. And unfortunately that requires me going through and basically remaking him. With all these specifications I've got, save for one. So, we're going to be right back. Alright, so I've done literally two whole things. One, I've changed Aaron's wardrobe just a smidgen simply because, you know, it's going to look all menacing, going to look all new. I also changed his big portrait, although you can't see it to me. Uh, but yeah. Snazzy. It's more just the same. I just wanted a different angle. And two was that I changed the mythic path just a smidgen. Uh, so as instead of that um, kind of pointless thing, uh, I am taking now always a chance. Your attacks are now less affected by luck. You do not automatically miss when you roll a nat one on attack rolls, which is pretty damn good. Uh, seeing as his base attack bonus isn't but at the same time, if I don't 
activate power attack, then it could be not as bad. So I'm going to go back into the commander's tent and because I want to... Uh... Oh, there it is. Hey, when that happens. So, I also discovered what it is that the Pestidatation... Pestidigipainter Golem, that's the word, uh, can do. You can have it. That is a cast illusions on your uh, armor to basically glamour it. Which is a really nice touch uh, when you think about it. Because you can make it so as... Bam! It, it looks like plate. Or, uh, not plate, but it looks like clothing. Or... Bam! It looks like half plate. But what I'm going to do is apparently s somewhere there is... Or I have encountered Adamantine Full Plate Plus 2. I don't remember if I've actually got it on any... I actually think it's going to be... It's on uh, Regil, but regardless. Yeah. That's more appropriate. And then we're going to take this and change it to a nice red. Yeah. Also, I did actually find that there was a scar option that works perfectly for an errant. So, yes. Yep, it is Regal. Ha! Huh, I was wrong. Eh. But yeah, now we're twinsies. And I don't even have to change the armor that I'm currently wearing for it. <laughs> uh, initially, I was planning on... Ah, shit. Because I changed my class, I gotta do everything. Uh, but yeah, because I really wanted to get um, some commission work and get errant, you know, full-blown actual oomph-looking picture, but it is not in the budget. Much as I want it to be. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I did also change his background. Um, let's see, the background I had selected was Acolyte. Originally, I didn't select Acolyte because it was a little bit redundant, because he already gets lore as a skill. But, you can also use Wisdom instead of Charisma while attempting Persuasion checks. Now, while he's not going to necessarily be doing a lot of persuading when the entire party is around... Him having some persuasion will help later on in the game. Uh, but on top of that, this will also give him a bonus, a competency bonus, to anything, uh, let's see, weapon proficiency, armor proficiency, granted by the selected background from her class, as well as class skills, during character creation, then the corresponding bonuses, if I've already got that. So that means that his, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So his lure is actually getting a plus one from the Acolyte. Yes. Um, that's about it. Persuasion's not that bad for him. I mean, again, there are people in the party that do better because they are charisma casters, but... Anyways. Um, I still kept keeping him getting the, uh... Getting the, uh... Good old Hell Knight, because yes, I take enemy dead. Your serious wounds, because ha 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 ha. Um, I want to take bull strength. Armor you wear no longer reduces. Just oh wait, I had seen something like that with Aaron. You'll have to pardon me, just casually forgetting all the things that I've got. Again. Hmm. I could have sworn at one point I saw Effortless Armor, but... I think that was just a spell that someone else had prepared. One minute per level. See, that would be far more worth it if it wasn't just one minute per level. Eh. I don't know. I get an eight hour duration. Kind of akin to Mage Armor. But then I guess there's some balancing issues with that as well. Oh well. Um, 
throw an aid onto you. Alas, your wisdom score still kind of sucks when it comes to spell casting, so anything DC based. Probably not what I do. Ah, excuse me. Uh, can spear effects? Nay. Resist energy? Eh. Remove paralysis would be too bad. Ah, wait, nope. Protection from alignment communal. This will make it so as everyone within a 30 foot radius gets a bonus. Uh, to AC and saving throws against creatures of a certain element. Element? No. Ugh. Fine traps, we already got, dude. Boop, boop, does not provoke attacks of our predictivity. So, niche of a spell, if you ask me. Let's see. That's against fear, that's against death. Oh, target can choose to end the spell as a swift action for the burst of healing. Target loses saving throw bonus but gains 1d8. Heals 1d8 points of damage plus 1 per cast level. Not terrible. But I might take the arrow of law? Because that does damage, but against a chaotic evil outsider, or chaotic outsider rather, it does 10 die 6 as opposed to 5 die 8 at maximum. And it can leave a target dazed. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Actually, a whole person might be more valuable, but... Mm. Uh, we will... Against disease, nausea, and sickening effects. Actually, wait. Remove blindness instead of that one. Uh, we are going to prepare Shield of Faith. Two of them. Nah, uh, not two of them. Shield of Faith is plus two deflection bonus. I think some of the characters will already have that. Stunning Shield, on the other hand. Bam. See, doing the low level. Oh, excuse me, pardon me again. Doing the low level spells is a lot harder to decide because at higher levels it's like, eh, these effects are mid. I can move half their speed. No. When the target are dread, they become shaken. Me. Move fear. That's actually not that bad. Because if you get fear effects on your party, it's ugh, it's a nightmare to deal with. But yeah, remember, remember the 5th of November. Um, Hell Knights get armor training. Armor training will make it so as uh, they will eventually lose the penalty to dexterity as well as the, I think the speed decrease? Yeah, a fighter bleh, can also move at its normal speed while wearing medium armor. I am currently wearing medium armor. No, that's heavy armor, shut up. So I think it's, what level is that at then? Ah, it's that second, the second, uh, Thing. So we're going to be needing to get to 5th level Hell Knight for that to be of use. I was considering taking the thing to make it so as I am a spellcaster instead of a knight. But honestly, I feel that Hell Knight would be better for Errant in general. Anyways, let's put some of these back on the bar. We'll put up the enemy dead. Eight is always fun. Uh, bless, we'll put there, because why not? Some of these we will have to activate, of course. Oh boy. Uh, plus one bonus. I See, I honestly kind of hate how... Um... Please. I kind of honestly hate a little bit how, um... War Mage's sacred weapon works. Oh yeah, I can summon a Spectre. 
keep on forgetting about that. Because the way it works is that essentially you can do it a number of rounds per day. Whereas a paladin can do it like a number of minutes per day equal to their level, which is butts. But uh, then we put these up here, if I recollect correctly. And then we also now have sacred armor, which has the same sort of effect, but with armor instead of um, sacred weapon. Strangely enough, must be used in one minute intervals. So yeah, we can use the armor for a number of times or number of minutes per day equal to war priest level. Wait, so what's this one? Every four levels, bonus increases a one. Number of rounds per day equal to his war priest level, but these rounds need. Wait. What? Okay, for those that don't know, that four there, at the very top of the top of the corner of the secret weapon, that's supposed to indicate how many rounds or how many uses, more or less, you have of it. Why is that at four? Why is that at four? Huh. But anyways, uh, so for the armor bonuses, excuse me, uh, we have sacred armor. Makes, uh, which is Fortification 25. Fortification makes it so as you can negate the chance of being critically hit. We're gonna put that on the burr. Some inspector, heal undead, damage living, boop. Um. Why do I have two sources of damage living? This one's a DC. 14. This one's DC. 15. Oh! This one is from my uh, levels of a war priest. This one is from my my mystic rank. Or mystic levels. Got it. Ugh, excuse me, I'm still. Kind of getting used to all this. I can't. I can't believe I forgot this. I can cast Lester Restoration, Restoration rather, once per day as an Acemer. That's just an innate ability that I, as errant, have. It's a neat skill. Um, some inspectors already got down there. Inspire Rage. Power Attack is. For the most part, I'm going to have power attack always on, but I'm going to just keep it there so I can do it. We'll have it so as Keen will be activated when I use my sacred weapon. Do I only have... Can I enhance the armor from the following armor special abilities? Energy resistance, fortification, and spell resistance. Glamour cancels plus one, energy resistance is two, improved four. People get abilities do not stack. Huh. This is a little assy, but alright. Basically, I can just improve my armor. Um, it is 25 right now. If I boop, it is now 26. But if I were to boop, and boop. It's still a 26. Because you get a plus one. But it's also now fortification. So. Yeah. Um. Was there anything else? Wait, did I? Did I activate with this? Well, uh, Addition of paper weapon by insanity can designate a weapon as a sacred weapon. The weapon focus speed of multiple weapon focus speeds. Base damage instead of the sacred damage. Okay, so that's what that does. We can activate and deactivate this in particular to make it so as we deal the damage of the sacred weapon. Um, basically, war priests can increase their weapon damage to that that is indicated on a chart and it I think it starts at a d6 and then it goes up once every 
five or four levels, I don't remember. But at this exact moment, it will now make it so as if I were to have it activated, it would do a die eight, which is eh, but eh. Sky's uses. Let's see, just gonna. That's a restoration. And yes, this is more or less just me trying to figure out what I'm doing. Alright, this is something I will never get down, I swear. Also use the ability to quickly cast spells that aid his end. This ability can be used a number of times a day, equal to half his war priest level by expending one use of this ability. A good war priest uh, can touch a creature to heal it for 1d6. Alternatively, war priest can use this to harm undead, dealing the same amount of damage he would otherwise heal. Oh, shift expand. The evil war priest can use this ability to instead deal damage to living creatures with a melee touch attack and heal undead creatures with a touch. And this counts as negative energy damage. So I could heal the undead instead of deal damage to the undead. Um, so yeah, I heal it for every three. So I think right at the moment it's three die six negative energy damage that I would end up doing. But I gotta rest so that I can actually, you know, get stuff. Um, he's gonna aid. You're gonna aid. Just heck it. Why can I not craft? Just craft potion, right? Because you're not the one that's crafting potions. You are. Shush. It also has an indicator. I'm realizing. Yeah, you help. Why not? I feel like crafting shit. Um. God. What's that require? Click to downgrade to a castle level 8. No? Why can we not craft it even after downgrading? Hmm. Wait, I don't have an alchemist's kit. Oh, I don't have the right level of alchemist's kit. I have to go and get by that. Yeah, okay. And in that case, we'll just make a cure moderate wounds. Probably should have the made more fireball. injuries can be healed, but the treatment will not be cheap. As regards her mental wounds, I am not sure that science is yet advanced enough to help her. What? I need to be healed? But Nenio, I'm not even sick. I mean, scars suck. Just saying. Aaron should know. Godspeed. I also changed his voice. It's a little it's the pious one, so it's a little bit more I guess got class, I would describe it. Um, what was I going to do? Right, I wanted to go to the chapel. Because if I recall correctly, this is where the dude that sells stuff was. I'm insulted that we do not have... Sanctified. That we do not have one dedicated to Zonkuthon. I mean, come on, he's not that bad of a guy. Lies. He's pretty terrible. Uh, Gato, were you the one that show me the scrolls? Yeah. Show me the scrolls. Flame tongue. Yep. Alchemist's kits. We'll go ahead and get the fourth one because we can afford it. Yeah. Go ahead and grab it. Um. I don't know why it gave me those. Or new... Actually, no. It gave me a cold iron glaive because that's what we... Uh, can wield. I'm always running out of B8 Bezor... Bezors? Well, by like 10. Do we need eggs? Well, I don't. Slimy skin, rainbow quartz... 
Never sure what the hell you need, you know? Um, oh, we can grab some restoration scrolls here, can't we? No. Nope. God, I love it when they have nothing available sometimes. I mean, I'll check. Oh, no, nope, here we are. Scroll of restoration. We have none. We'll take three. Restoration is good. Let's just put it that way. Um, I could also just make s ooh, empower. I don't. I, I shouldn't throw all of my money. <laughs> um, more frequently. Eh. This coin grants. It's where the ability to grant an ally damage reduction of five for one minute once per day. It's not bad. Ooh, holy smite. One die, eight damage per two caster levels. If they're evil, it's one die, six per caster level. And the target can become blinded. If they fail, it will save. That's tempting. How much is it? 700? We'll take two. I'd have said three, but they don't have three. Oh my god. Glowing croissant. Yeah, we'll take a recipe. Do I want these dinosaur balls? They, they, they gotta have a purpose, right? Oh, half my money. And just to solidify all these options I just did. Yes, quick save. Not a hard save, but a quick one. Let us press on. Alright, I still have a bunch of places to go, if I recall correctly. I probably don't recall correctly, but still. It's the principle of the matter. Yes. Hopefully I can just get the last few places done. I seem to need to get to Let's see, you... Wait. Oh, that's right. Have I dis discovered all the places? I forgot. Shit. I think I gotta get my dudes up here to deal with the demon army. I'll probably also want to, you know... Get more reinforcements? We're gonna station them there for the time being. Um, and we'll buy some more, I guess. We got plenty of resources after all. Recruit some Hell Knights. Go with 120 archers. And then the footmen will do a solid 200. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to quick save because I always feel like I'm going to end up accidentally going into a thing. Nope. Try down here. Nope. Ah, yep. Didn't necessarily want to. Your skills are impressive. But effectiveness in battle is but the smallest part of what being a Hell Knight requires. I see you. You people on the surface think you're better than everyone else. If you tried living underground, you'd soon shut up about requirements. Yep. We did not, in fact. 
you jumped in the night. Banner of the March of every victory over the demon down the road. It's ten days to the time the banner of the March of Dresden stays green. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just combined. I don't think we lost really that many units all over. All over. You know. Yeah. Hello. Champions? Rangers? Alright, so... Uh, I think... I want to say... That after getting that demon army uh, all settled with... We're basically going to be going right into Dresden. So I think you're okay. I say I was saying I was gonna to move to the lost chapel. And um see what, uh, what we're doing for there. Okay, Ash Giant, suck you by. Uh hear me out. Suck it. Can I charge you? Nope. Did I find something here? I think I found something here. Surrender or else. Which is only a little weird. Oh, a second second bye. I you did the stupidest thing you could possibly do. Still standing. You have both done stupid. Uh, because I'm going to cleave. Yes. So, I took cleaving finish instead of endurance, uh, which allows me to, when I slay one creature, I can then proceed to make an attack at another creature. Which is fantastical. Great club. Hide armor. Yeah. I won't lie, I am sorely tempted to simply spend a good m chunk of time doing nothing but having my party running around, killing demons and the like. Because experience points, you see. But I suppose grinding like that would kind of defeat the purpose of this game, despite the fact that we're... Okay. No... See, primary army does not have movement right now, so I think we'll just pass a day. <sighs> and then march on the demon fort towards Dresden. Hell no. Pursue that shit. Never give up, never surrender. Know that jazz. Alright. I don't like the Vrox. I don't like any of this. A plague sucks. Or the swarm, rather. There is a difference. Uh, so what I think I might do... Who should I throw rocks at? Probably the Dekart... Dekarakni, rather. Actually, probably be better to lay down some explosive traps right around here. Then you. Dang it. Dang it. Nice. Uh, I can pretty much instantly kill this swarm. Get that sweet bonus. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those good timings. Alright. 
Your wounds. Take your shot. Oh, right. Babao suck like that. Babao have this really annoying ability where if you hit them, sometimes you will take damage. Ah, of course, you decided to go for the other party. Have rocks. Then I can do these. Ah, they're cultist cultists. Which basically means that they're able to take less damage if they weren't gonna die. Lost basically no units that time. Funky. Oh, man. The last enemy forces blocked in the commander's triumphant army advances as has fallen. The soldiers are more than happy to spend the night beneath the shelter of the fortified walls. The road to Dresden is clear. But also there's some demon armies over there. Ooh. Acid trap. Frost Blast Trap, which will reduce their speed for a number of rounds. Or Burning Liquid. Siege Ability. Yeah, let's take Burning Liquid, mostly because that sounds terrible. And mean. I like it. I think we could march right onto Dresden right now. Someone on the road. Or we could do it here. Hmm. Waiting for that loading screen. The army halts along the hill, and in the distance you see the walls of Dresden. Smokes. Smoke rises over the city. Winged creature, uh, winged, f winged fi figures are circling in the sky above it, but they don't look like birds. It's time to discuss strategy. It was once an unassailable fortress. Luckily for us, the demons destroyed a lot of the defenses where they st when they stormed the city. In seventy years, haven't gotten around to mending them. This isn't going to be easy. Unfortunately, most of the walls are still standing. Anivia spreads an old city map on the table. The gates are old and rotten now. We can get through them with a ram, but then there will be street fights. It will be a hell of a fight in Dresden. Luckily, somewhere in the city, there's a sacred banner. Sword of Valor. Iomade's holy relic wouldn't fall to corruption, like, ever. The demons just kept it as a trophy, a sign of our disgrace, and now it's going to be their downfall. If you find it and raise it again, all the demons in the city will be weakened and lose their ability to teleport. That's when we'll chop them up like blind rats. Don't forget, Staunton Vane is somewhere out there. Same traitor who gave Dresden over to the demons in the first place. He won't part with that banner easily. Nora raises her hand like a student in the class. May I so say something? May I? I have a plan. Regal looks at you without speaking. It seems he has a suggestion. Regal, what do you suggest? What could he suggest? An even more painful way to die? Irbeth's eyes shine feverishly in her gaunt fi face. Who are, who are you lying to? Yourself? Each other? The gods? You all realize w that we're going to die. We're leading our people to a slaughter. Our army was almost defeated by a swarm of gargoyles. We won't last five minutes in Dresden. Beth, are you nuts? Yes, it's a dangerous gig. We all knew what we were signing up for. But now that we got here, you want us to shit our pants and go home? Got bloody dr- we got to bloody Dresden by some miracle, and we're about to take it. Kinda late to chicken out, don't you think? Doesn't matter what we do, the lad hanging on the hook next to me didn't want to die. But what do could he do to fend off death? What could I do? We're all doomed. But only a few of us are willing to admit it. By this time tomorrow, we'll all be dead. Earbeth's voice drifts away, but then seems to carry from a distance, making, it, making its way to a sticky veil of fog that fills your mind. The demon that appeared inside you struggles to be free. A little bit more, and it waves, and its wave of rage will engulf you. Hmm.
wondering how firm he would actually be in this situation. Can I want to yell one? But a threat of suspension might be what needs to be slapped in her face. I think you still haven't recovered from what you went through in the chapel. Pull yourself together. I'll be I'll be forced to suspend you from the operation. A shadow of something like fear flashes across your Beth's eyes. You leave me behind so that I have to mourn the death of my entire order, all my friends? Not worse than dying with everyone else. Dresden will be our death. You, Commander, might still have a chance to be saved while you're leading your people to certain ruin. You pathetic little nothing, you were so proud of your strength and yet you broke so easily. The demonic rage inside you seeds and searches for an exit. Struggles to get out, exhausting, threatening, and convincing at the same time. You also feel strong enough to keep it under control, if you want to. There you have it, a perfect illustration of why the Crusades have not made an in have not an inch of progress in a hundred years. A winding up start commander has been put in charge of a knightly order by an idealistic queen circumventing all rules of military hierarchy. Now said upstart has crumbled in her first serious trial. Rigel chuckled harshly. Absolutely everything in this situation, from the story of Erebeth's rise to the reasons why she lost her reason and morale, demonstrates how dire matters truly are on our front. These problems can be rectified, of course, but to do that, he will need to drive the black sheep from the herd. Ooh. Could diplomacy we be used? Assuming Darren doesn't just doesn't roll a one. I do have plans, though. There is a power in Errant, and Errant plans to use it. A paladin who loses their spirit and forgets their duty. That is the worst kind of betrayal. Betrayal of yourself. Yerabeth tenses, clenching her teeth. Forgive me, I lost control, Commander. Ease. Anivia catches Yerabeth's eyes and gives her a nod of encouragement. So, what are we going to do, Commander? Wendewag, who has kept silent up till now, breaks into a smile of satisfaction. What will this brawl lead to? Will our heads adorn the gates of Dresden tomorrow? Anxiety, impatience, fear. You, Master, standing in the midst of its chaos. A real leader, a rare breed. I want you to know, whatever you decide now, I want to be near. Wendewag says the last word with a peculiar purring into Intonation? If we survive this battle, find me. I will pay you the respects a victor deserves. The Huntress gives you a long, slow blink, like a cat. Well, alright then. I think she likes me. Uh, yeah, Regil, what did you ha want to suggest? My scouts are, were able to approach the fortress walls, and they learned something unpleasant. The demons have giants who can shoot alchemical... Alchemist fire from our catapults, or sometimes he's something even worse. They've positioned here. Rigol draws, draws crosses on the city map. Luckily, as Anivia said, the city's fortifications are in a sorry state. We come from this side through the temple ruins. We can sneak up on the giants and finish them off before they inflict any serious damage on our army. It is highly risky maneuver. If my unit was injured and exhausted or suffered in, in significant losses, I would consider the risk excessive and never countenance there. Yeah. Countenance this plan. Fortunately, thanks to the commander's timely aid, you aided the beleaguered Hell Knights and accepted their leader's offers to help you on the campaign. Hell Knights suffered almost no losses during the encounter with the gargoyles. We're ready to perform the maneuver, but we'll need cover in case we run into any special demons, like the Nabasu we all remember. Commander, I would like your party to attack the giants with us. The fighters won't like that. Our, li our lads are hoping the commander will personally lead them into battle, not go off with the Hell Knights. Really, they won't like it. I'm getting tired of take talking about the outrageous state of discipline in the Crusader army. Shall we see how they like fire raining down on them from the sky?
Navia, do you still have that barrel of slime we can use to attract the Vescovore swarm? Yes, and they obviously sense it. All this time, there have been small swarms of those demon flies around the camp. All we need to do is spill the barrel and a big swarm will gather. Will quickly gather. We had quite an idea back at the canyon. We could send a small unit as bait, lure as many demons from Dresden as possible, and then churn the swarm in our favor. We'd rid ourselves of an entire army of enemies in one fell swoop. But it's cruel to use our own people like that. They'll be picked to the bone along with the demons. I think it's a scumbag thing to do. Sometimes fighters have to be sent to their deaths, but feeding them to the demon bugs? That's not how it's done. I'd burn the barrel just to be on the safe side. Hmm. It is risky. But. We will use the it mixer in battle. Choose which soldiers will carry the barrel, and remember, they mustn't know they're being sent to their deaths. As you wish. You perform an action that was evil. Ye. Yeah. And what are the Eagle Watch Knights going to do? The Eagle Watch are the most experienced crusaders in the army. They must set an example to the others. We'll spread them across our, our other units, so each one has at least a few. And Nura, what's your plan? Oh, my plan is great. It's a magnificent plan. Here, take a look. Nura spreads a, another map across the table. I had to dig into the archives to find it, but it was worth it. This is it. The ace that will bring us victory. This is a map of a secret passage that leads to Dresden's dungeons. An entire army can pass through there, but your unit can get through and strike the demons from below. They definitely won't be expecting that. Besides, of course, we don't know exactly where the Sword of Valor is stored, but I think we should look in the dungeons first. With a little luck, you'd learn... Yeah, you'd win the battle before the demons even realize it's begun. Hmm... Hidden from the eyes of believers, it loses its properties. I would pretty much be useless in my hands. Alright, we'll attack tomorrow at dawn. Begin preparations. Where will I be in this battle? It would probably be best to go for the giants and attack them just to make sure that there's minimum loss minimal losses through them I'll go with the hell knights and attack the giants a rational decision all right we attack at dawn then and the good gods help us keep on forgetting which god that I'm part of don't you uh, this ought to be fun I wonder if anyone's got anything to add. Anyone's got some new inventory. Wonder back. Alright. I don't think anyone else does have anything to add or new inventory. Show me what you got. Double chip there. Why always no sorting? Stop no sorting. Deesh. Bunch of stuff that I've already sold. Bug catcher. Don't remember bug catcher at all. Compass of Boo. Actually. What flavor of bow did Windwag have? Hunter's Assurance. Compass of Bleed plus three. Never mind. I think we're good. Decimation. Yeah, that'd be great if we had any Bardish users. I meant to talk to the blacksmith. Uh, I don't think he has anything. It's mostly all cold iron crap. Alright, I sold that Kukri because, uh, Kukri. Like some, I don't know, there, I did look up a weapon list at one point, it was like, man, there's so many weapons in this game, and a lot of the really, really cool ones are basically just not that useful for, like, pri like a good lot of the primary stuff, I guess, to put it. Okay. 
I don't think anyone has anything to say. Only mild concern about what they have to say, really. I'm trying to think of who to have in the party, too. I mean, I'm, go I'm going with Regil, so he's going to be in the party. Uh, hello, Regil. Nope, nothing to say there. Bunch of armagers. Horses. Okay, yeah, it's back up to the seven uses. Ninio. Yeah, okay. I think the only thing that we have to do is simply to go. Yeah, might be the case. Uh, there might be more stuff to do. I'm going to quickly save before popping out because I feel like if we pop out of here, it's going to be, yeah, locked in. I'll take these two. Go ahead and take... We'll take Nino. Hmm... Yeah, I'll we'll take him. Why not have that? Oh, we're jumping right into this. Hmm. Probably should just call an episode so that I can allow it to, you know, proper, proper. What's the word I'm looking for? That thing. Big watch and new recruits list up. I don't know how many of us will survive this day, but I know one. I don't know whether I will, but I know one thing's for sure. Today we're the tip of the sword in Iomade's Iomade's hand. Dead or alive, we will rip out the fangs of the abyss. To arms for Mendev, for Canabras. Yes. Dead or alive, we're going to win. Onward, attack! Big old barrel. Let's fly again. Ah. I'm sure they're fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, call an episode here. We're gonna actually do a proper save save though. Um what's that? Set nope. I want to name it proper like. If I don't name it proper like, how will I know what one it is? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, it's the Assault on Dresden, which is the next chapter. I think we got this. We totally got this. We totally have this. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers. We totally got this. <laughs>